She gonna drive though. Watch. Mark my words, she gonna drive. So guys, we got a package. What's up guys? Welcome to a whole new video. Welcome to Renegade. As y'all seen, I dropped another video on the 944. If you ain't seen it, go look at it. You don't got to. It ain't gonna hurt me. But at the end of the day, I'm just uh putting out content now. Uh we got something special uh for the Mercedes. So hopefully to solve our issue. Um fingers crossed, I'm not gonna have all high hopes, but if everything run smooth and we have that part indicator on there i'm driving the car down the road and i gotta make sure i don't got no leaks either well i don't have no leaks for the transmission because i checked that last time but hopefully everything goes well so hope y'all enjoyed this video let's get into it as y'all can see guys we have a nice shifter right here this is well 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 packaged so let's get her unwrapped so guys, I do have a warranty protection on here, so I'm not gonna tamper with this at all. But y'all, let's get her in. The first thing first, we need to attach this linkage uh, to this bottom side right here. And we also uh, got the clip, y'all probably can't see. And guys, look how junky this car is and all that, like, what? Like a month or two that we've just been sitting. This car need a cleaning bag. But anyway, let's get her in. All right guys, so we got the new shifter in place. Uh, we made sure the clip was on. Um, and also I plugged this harness in before I attached this cable. Cause once you attach this cable, you won't be able to have uh, any play. So right now I'm finna bolt her down. All right guys, so we are the codes and now I'm getting a park indicator. Park indicator right here now. I was not getting this earlier, so let's turn around. If it turn on, I wonder if my battery did. Guys, hey, we got so a parts indicator. So you can hold it down. I might drive up there. Shit. Yeah, you might as well take it to get. You might as well take it to get my right. food. Let's see. Let's see if Where? it ain't gonna lock up. Oh, yeah, go ahead, yeah. We got reverse. We got neutral. And we got drive. I don't think it's going. Neutral. Reverse. Oh yeah, it's work. It's this doing ten times better than what it was before. I got it. Hey, I gotta drive it around anyway. Cut the uh, the trans uh, the trans cooler and all that. Yeah, you going to take it off? Huh? You going to take it off? Guys, I'm so excited. Now I can go freaking riding and all that. Yeah. I was gonna say wait till I get back to drive. Cause I'm finna go. We finna go get. It. Hell no, I'm finna drive that bit right now, boy. You tripping? Oh, I see you then. <laughs> all right, I see you on the road. Uh, anyway, I was gonna have my brother uh, ride with me. Where I was gonna take him. We was gonna test drive and stuff, but. Um, I got a new belt I need to change out and that'd be it, man. So dang, this is exciting. Good thing we did the trans, uh, you know, job. Um, we replaced the fluid, got a new filter, got a new conductor plate. And we also did that trans go uh, shift kit. So I feel really good. And when I put it in drive, it looked like it went to launch, like kind of forward and stuff. It wasn't doing that before and all that. So uh, it's pretty damn dope. Uh, I'm gonna see where all my work, you know, that I done and put into it, uh, you know, see if it paid off. But hopefully, fingers crossed, nothing crazy else uh, happened, guys. Um, I mean, this is a first step, so uh, let's get to it and get some little more footage and all that, man. I appreciate it. Oh, by the way, I need to change the belt, like I said, if I ain't mentioned it. I keep, sometimes I'll be record. I mean, I'll go back and look at the video, but sometimes I'll repeat myself twice. So if you catch me doing that, don't mind it just you know we got sometimes somebody have you have a lot of stuff on your mind especially trying to you know have everything you know dialed in one by one but anyway let's go as you guys can see uh this engine bay looking hot mess this whole car looking hot mess but anyway i'm gonna leave everything like this temporarily only thing we're doing is changing this belt right here 
um last time the belt broke on me and this had cracked also um and uh i replaced all that um but i think being that i was in first gear uh because i was all the way like in south carolina and having to drive it all the way back home and stuff yeah and put some wear and tear on that belt but like i said uh, i do want to do some front end on this uh car i have been keeping up with the coolant and also i've been keeping up with my oil changes and all that but we are having small little leaks like this as you can see i think this is like glue that they uh use from the factories and all that and then right here uh, would be the gasket and i probably want to think about putting the oil catch can on here too just because um but help with all that uh that pressure and stuff you know but anyway let's get this belt changed up and let's see the driver it's not looking ugly though i ain't gonna lie <laughs> but i love it though all right guys we got the new belt on so let's take her out for a ride all right guys let's check these uh this engine light re real quick before we take a drive y'all something's still not doing something right i hear something clanging 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 it's driving okay i got the shift indicator but why it's still not shifting you know what i'm saying uh they keep saying shift solenoid a i wonder what the hell that is y'all hear that i don't know i, I just gotta drive this i'm gonna just i'm gonna just drive i gotta go to the auto parts store anyway so i don't know Let's see if i can put it in one it ain't let me do it it just steady stuck at first. Unless it's something catastrophic that happened. I mean, I hear something. I hear something. I don't know what the hell it is. I'm gonna get my, we're gonna go by the auto parts store. Auto parts store, I'm gonna let my brother listen to it and see what's what, cause this ain't making no sense. I made sure everything was tight. Nothing ain't loose. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We just got to see. Okay, guys. Let's take another test drive. Okay, car is driving, but it ain't shifting at all. Watch this. It's don't act like it. I don't know. Unless it's one of those uh, solenoids. I'm not sure. Probably got to do research. But I mean, I don't got no check engine light or anything uh, like I just had a few moments ago. But we'll see, though. Let's go around this way. I just want the thing to be right. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to have fast and stuff.
Oh boy, I tell you. Well, at least I, you know, did certain things and all that. I feel comfortable, but I'm not conceited, though. How the hell looking for They ain't looking good, like always. Just need to be lowered. Supercharge in it. Y'all start sleeping on them V6s. Some of y'all can't even drive V8s for real. This a V6 right here though, but it bit. Sound like it got a supercharger in it. It's all about the driver, it ain't about the car. Some of y'all don't know how to drive. Yeah. Got the little After clearing them, they keep coming back. And apparently, we just got to see if anything open or shorted uh, somewhere. And we just need to test those solenoids. We need to ohm it out. And we need to make sure we apply 12 volts to it to make sure we can hear them click and all that. Uh, but if not, I'll uh, probably have to get some new ones, replace that, and then just go from there. Because everything is fresh. So, I mean, you probably got some faulty parts. So guys, as you can see, I had to drive my car. I had to thump on it a little bit. Um, the car feels fine, but we still haven't solved the issue yet. Uh, we still got two to three uh, and four shifts that we did not go to through. We just stay in the first the whole time and always go to red line. And it, that's the crazy thing about it. Uh, we fixed uh, other two things but still haven't solved our issue we had our crack rpm sensor on the conductor plate we also had a gear shifter that would not indicate anything on uh my uh display screen on the cluster at all so it's one thing that is one thing that we gotta you know look into at a time just remind me of like my refrigeration job uh that i do which is great and it's always challenging it's always something new 
uh, something like this. It's something I'm not doing the same thing every day. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's challenging and all that. And you just got to go through the ropes. If it's one thing, it always be the other. So hopefully we can have this uh, sorted out because I'm trying to take this on like little uh, pretty long trips and all that. And I'm going to drive it and all that and uh, see how that will go. But anyway, um, she going to drive though. Watch. Mark my words, she going to drive. And I'm not going to take it to no shop because I know I can figure this out. Um, and y'all might see in the next video of me dropping it out and figuring out. I'm going to do my research. I'm going to ask questions and all that because I like to learn and stuff. I like to know because next time something happened or somebody need help and stuff, I would direct them in the right direction. But uh, other than that, that's pretty fun. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all have a good night. And honestly, I'm smelling inside, but I'm kind of shy disappointment, you know. But I'm still grateful, thankful, and all that. In fact, the car can drive because it was not, you know, it, it couldn't do anything. The shifter, it could not even go from part, reverse, neutral drive. It would get stuck all the way in neutral. So, one thing at a time, guys. See y'all. Hope y'all subscribe and enjoy. I got something on my face. That's not good. I drink some water and all that. All right, see y'all. Peace out.